verse of the stream is uh, Psalm 22, verse 1. So, um, yeah, this is an interesting one. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me, so far from my cries of anguish? Um, so this is an interesting one. Just in case you haven't tuned in before, when in the middle of our streams, we normally do a, a little verse, a little Bible verse, just kind of quick thought for the day. What does that mean? And uh, this is interesting because I did the kids' work at church on, on Sunday. I'm not, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a gifted children's worker. All right, but I can do it. And uh, <laughs> it's a little bit chaotic with the kids in our church. So we were looking at this psalm and this psalm was written by david king david who kind of like he had it all um you know he was a king he'd been a shepherd boy he'd become king um people had been out to to kill him but he'd survived that so he's he's doing well right uh and then we read this uh, and he wrote this he said my god my god why have you forsaken me and so i asked the question you know, do you think God had really forsaken or abandoned, um, left David on his own? And uh, his kids kind of put his hand up. I said, oh, yeah, yeah, what, what, what do you think? And he said, yes, 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 God had abandoned him. I said, oh, why is that? Because he makes me go to school. <laughs> Which I know is, is this kid being slightly... <laughs> contentious and a bit difficult but I was like oh okay that's an interesting point let's uh, let's come back to that I was about to ask the next person and then his mum knocked on the door and said uh, I've got to go now uh, we've got to go and pick up his brother um, <laughs> this is like right in the middle of, of like the session and I'm like oh uh, okay that's fine and and then he left so um, so all he learned from children's group on Sunday was that um, God has abandoned him potentially because he has to go to school. <laughs> anyway, what we were trying to get to is the fact that no, that is not the case. Um, God had not abandoned uh, David because it says in the Bible that, um, you know, uh, that God will never leave us, he will never forsake us, he will never abandon us. And um, But sometimes it can feel like that. And sometimes we can go through uh, difficult times and feel like God isn't there for us. Because sometimes God allows us to go through difficult times. Now, there are a couple of reasons for that. And the first one is partly because we do live in a fallen world. In other words, God created the world, it was supposed to be good. But um, because of choices, because of Adam and Eve and the story in creation, or because of our choices in the world, we have uh, created this fallen um, state, this fallen world. And um, and so the world is not perfect. Um, the world is not as it should have been, which is it's supposed to be um, good. Um, and so now, as a result, you know, we live in a fallen world where you know we have to go through difficult times but partly also because i think we have to go through tough difficult tough times because god uses those things to teach us things um you know we when we go through difficulties we come out the other side uh, stronger and um certainly uh, you know it's, it's a little bit like um you know going to the gym i don't know if you've ever been to the gym i, I certainly i as many of you know i sometimes do joe wicks workouts and the next day you feel that kind of stiff that soreness and essentially that is because when you do any kind of workout what you're doing is you're you're kind of damaging your body you're making small tears in in the in the fibers of your muscles and then over the coming days they will feel stiff and sore as they repair themselves and get stronger and bigger so any kind of workout is it can be painful but it allows you to grow and become stronger as a result and the same is true of our emotions and the things that we experience in life that we might be, you know, hitting difficult times. But actually, you know, when we go through them, um, God will teach us things to make us stronger and more mature as as people. Um, so it can certainly feel like we can go through times where we feel like God has abandoned us. Um, but the so the great thing about this verse is that because at the end, David kind of gets this point where he says, but I will still trust you. Um, you know, that he, he's he's asking this question, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from, from saving me? In fact, the, the, the next verse says, I cry out to you by day, but you do not answer. But yet by the end of this psalm, 
he then says, but I will still trust in you. Uh, and so what, what can we learn from this? This is, this is David just being real with God. He's not trying to pretend. He's not trying to sugarcoat it. He's not, you know, he doesn't have to try and make it out like, you know, oh, me and God, we're just always like that. And it's always super brilliant and it's amazing. And my spiritual life is fantastic. You know, he says, I'm struggling. I'm finding this hard. And, and, and um, that's OK to do that. It's okay to take our burdens to God and to say, I'm not happy, I'm frustrated, this is difficult, you know, why why aren't you helping me? Because this is what it means to be real with God. In fact, Jesus even said these words when he was on the cross. He said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Um, and, and so even Jesus can be completely real and, and honest with, with God. Um, and so... You know, that's the brilliant thing about being a Christian is that we have a, a relationship with with God and we can be real. We can be honest. We don't need to pretend that we are something that we are not. We don't need to pretend that we are doing anything different or feeling anything different. We can be open and honest with God and God will not reject us when we are real with him. Um, in fact, I, I think he 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 um, in fact. I would go the other way and say, actually, he appreciates when we are real, and we are honest, because he wants true hearts. He doesn't want us just to say the right thing. He wants our hearts in this. So there we are. There is today's verse of the stream, Psalm 22, bit of an unusual one. But my God, my God, why have you forsaken me?